We've got four, kind of four what they call lean primals, the four lean cuts of pork. Okay, those consist of the pork leg or the ham. Okay, consists of the loin, which extends through this area. Consists of the, the butt shoulder or the Boston butt shoulder, which is in this realm up here. And it consists of the picnic shoulder. What's happened in the industry is uh, a lot of butchers are uh, getting older in years and they have no one to pass on their business to or they're just getting out of the business and it's really a big problem for farmers. It's a big problem for the agriculture community as a whole. So now to break these things down, we're just gonna make some strategic cuts. I did meat cutting at a food co-op for about a year and a half. And it's just a skill that I've always wanted. And at that co-op, we just took primals that were already ready, a lot of them boneless, and we just opened them up and cut them up. I really was like, I want to learn the skill of breaking down the entire animal. When it comes to whole animal butchery, there, there's so much to learn in that process. Whereas we were teaching young cooks, future chefs, how to cut meat, um, this is breaking down the whole animal. Okay, and there's a ham. It's our hope that we're gonna build these artisanal butchery programs um, so that we can begin to get more people interested in what I believe is a great career. My interest has always been local foods and supporting local growers, whether it's vegetables or meat. Supporting your local economy, that's what I've been really into since I got out of college, you know, over a decade ago now. So it's good to be back in school and learning a new skill. If we can get every school or get the nine that are involved with this out there and up and running and get these programs going, it's going to create more opportunities for butcher shops to open up. It's going to create more opportunities for perhaps meat lockers to open up, places where animals can be harvested. We need those opportunities.